the main constituent of the cannabis plant in its raw, unheated form, it's THCA or delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. In the cannabis plant, cannabinoids are synthesized and then stored in their acidic state. The peculiar chemical composition of cannabinoid acids make them devoid of psychotropic effects only upon heating of the plant through a chemical process that is defined in chemistry as decarboxylation. The molecules are reduced to phenols, thus producing all the mind-altering effects that are usually associated with consumption of heated cannabis, such as vaporized or smoked cannabis. That is, the raw plant in its natural state mainly contains THC acid and CBD acid which are converted almost entirely onto THC and CBD once heated at least at 100 degrees Celsius. The primary action of THCA are mediated through receptors that are deputed to the control of pain, inflammation and temperature, such as TRPA1 and TRPM8. Once THCA has been absorbed in the system, it activates a receptor that is called TRPA1. TRPA1 is responsible for immune and analgesic response. You can think of TRPA1 as an ambulance siren that is calling out for the staff for, a quick, for providing quick help, aid to a patient. THCA also acts via other receptors such as TRPM8 commonly identified as the cold and menthol receptor. THCA blocks TRPM8, which is considered a key step for inhibition of uh, growth and survival of prostate cancer cells. THCA also binds weakly to the main cannabinoid receptors CB1 and CB2 when compared to THC and does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Since it doesn't have access to the cannabinoid receptor CB1 present in the brain, it doesn't induce the effects typically associated with consumption of THC, such as increased appetite, euphoria, paranoia, or sedative state. Thus, THCA binds with cannabinoid receptors present at the periphery of the body, such as GPR55, CB2, and a less extent CB1. Via these receptors, it mediates anti-prolific action, that is, pro-apoptotic, easing cellular death of diseased cells, such as cancer cells. It also has antispasmodic and anti antibiotic actions. THCA is a safe substance that can be intaken in large quantities without provoking mind-altering intoxicating effects. It is therefore suggested to anyone who requires an aid to their inflammatory system, including pregnant women, elderly and children. THCA can be consumed via cold extraction, for example by slow juicing the leaves and the flowers of the cannabis plant. It is highly recommended as a dietary supplement for prevention and treatment of inflammatory conditions. In summary, it is used for the following medical benefits. Analgesia, it's advised to whom suffer from chronic and neuropathic pain. Antibiotic, it's used in veterinary as well as dentistry. Antiemetic, reduces nausea and vomiting. Anti-inflammatory, it's used by lupus patients as well as diabetes, MS and ALS patients. Antiproliferative, it exerts anti-tumoral activities, particularly targeting prostate, breast, stomach, rectum, and leukemia type of cancers. These data derive from both in vitro as well as anecdotal data from patients that are self-medicating with cannabis juice. THCA anti-tumoral actions are important. However, they are not being found as suitable as a unique therapy for the later stages of a cancer, for which THC and CBD extracts are highly advised. You can check out here, there is another video all about uh, cannabis oils and extracts for cancer therapy. It's also an antispastic, is hence important in the management of disorders that induce muscular spasms, such as Parkinson's, MS and ALS. It's a neuroprotectant and prevents degradation of neural cells, slowing 
the sight, hearing and cognitive decrease associated with aging. If you're interested in knowing more about cannabinoid acid, uh, we have a project that is called RO. You can check it out here or I'll put a link below. It's the rowstudy.eu and we promote clinical trials with raw cannabis juicing for, so far, multiple sclerosis, but we really wish to extend this to other disorders. Otherwise, you can check out on naturegoingsmart.com articles that review in much more detail the effects, beneficial effects of cannabis juicing. Mm -hmm.